Uh, hey, here's yet another example of the shit I'm talking about. And this is from the Daily Caller. L listen to this. And of course, this is <laughs> total bullshit, right? University of Kansas is offering angry white male studies class. Really? Angry white male studies class. I don't understand this. I'm not seeing angry white people. I, where, where are they? This is, of course, just projection. This is what the left does. This is critical theory in practice as opposed to what people try to claim critical theory is. All critical theory is is just the theory and application of the criticism of capitalism. But the way it's actually used is in a number of different ways, okay? And this is one of them, okay? The left will project and accuse their opposition of exact, exactly what they are guilty of, all right? Angry white males? The only angry people I see are these leftists. Whenever I see conservatives, white people that are not leftists, and of course, I guess they could be talking about leftists here because a lot of white males are leftist, Marxist, communist pinheads. So there's some truth to that, but they're not angry because they're white or male. They're angry because they've been taught an evil, hateful ideology. Anyway, the University of Kansas will offer an angry white male studies course aimed at investigating the emotional state of Caucasian males throughout history. Uh-huh. How are you going to study that? Because, you know, maybe I'm wrong, but the pseudoscience of psychology hasn't been around that long. Only since the late 19th, early 20th century. So what kind of insight are you going to get into the emotional state of people before that time? I mean, I guess you can speculate based on their words and actions, you know, and follow that back to uh, some kind of, you know, presumed or, uh, you know, likely emotional state. But you can only go so far with that. White males throughout history. Why is it white males? What, what, why is it there's some kind of angry black male studies course? You can, are you saying that black people don't get angry? I mean, in my experience, black people are far easier to anger, far easier to anger than white people on average. So white people have the market cornered on anger? Really? Isn't that kind of what you're implying here? Since this is the only kind of course of its nature you're teaching? Where's the uh, angry female studies course? Where, where's the angry Latino studies course? Oh, we only have an angry white male study course because, yeah, we have some kind of epidemic of white anger in America, which isn't true, by the way. Total bullshit. The majority of hate crimes are fake. Fake! Tussie Smollett. <coughs> Tussie. <laughs> the public university in Lawrence, Kansas, will offer the course in fall 2019. Yeah, don't go there. D don't go to a uh, uh, public university in Lawrence, Kansas. It it's nothing more than a uh, cultural Marxist indoctrination mill. You won't learn anything. So avoid it. The course charts the rise of the angry white male in America and Britain since the 1950s. <laughs> So the implication, you're coming out and saying, oh, it, it's, a, it's a phenomenon in and of itself that isn't reflected in other groups. Because if it was reflected in other groups, the same type of behavior, there wouldn't be anything special and there wouldn't be anyth anything particularly angry about the right white male any more so than blacks or women. Well, what they're saying essentially is that white men are angrier than other races. Really? Where's your evidence for this? I love these claims. I'm just going to claim that white men are angrier than other groups, but, you know, I have no evidence. I'm just going to make that claim. Right. Well, that's, that's the left in a nutshell, right? Uh, exploring the deeper sources of this emotional state while evaluating recent manifestations of male anger. <laughs> I love how they try to use big words <laughs> to try and make themselves sound more intelligent. While evaluating recent manifestations of male anger. I think this language makes me sound more scientific. <laughs> okay. Wow. Okay. Instead of a course to unite people and empower women, Kansas University has decided to offer a class that divides the student population and could pose a Title IX violation by creating a hostile campus environment based on gender. <laughs> Representative Ron Estes. Yeah. And he said that on April 3rd, 2019. That's kind of the point, Ron. That's why they're doing this. <sighs> I think a lot of Americans are not actually actually woke 
in regards to what the modern day Western University is, the majority of them are just indoctrination centers. They don't teach anything anymore. It's all about memorization, all right? Most of these universities are worse than, say, Chinese schools, which essentially just teach memorize, 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 facts, 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 and be able to be a human computer when it comes to fucking numbers. <laughs> They're good at math and memorizing shit. That's it. They can't think too well, if at all. No imagination, no creative thinking of any kind. Oh, that's the point. Well, case in point here. The course will be jointly offered by the university's humanities department and its department of women, gender, and sexuality studies. What the fuck? They have a department for women, gender, and sexuality studies? What the fuck is there to study? I got a cock. You got a pussy. I put the cock in the pussy, and I move it around some. What the fuck is there to study? What the hell? Are you kidding me? <laughs> gender. <laughs> Dick. Pussy. Penis vagina. Well, what is this gender study bullshit? I hate this stuff. I always the rag on men. Gender studies is just there to rag on men. Department of women. Where's the department of men? No such thing. Because women are oppressed. Men are in charge. We just say this. No evidence. We just make the claim because it's patently evident. It's self-evident. We don't need to claim anything. We, we, we don't need to prove anything. It's all self-evident. Really? This is what the left does. This is another aspect of critical theory. Just keep repeating something again and again and again and act as if it's completely self-evident and then people will come to believe it and not even challenge your claims. It's typical critical theory. Typical. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Men don't need men's studies. Women are in, not in charge. It's the men. Even though, what is it? Something like now 35% uh, of uh, university uh, uh, students are men. 65 are women. <laughs> So it's almost two to one. <laughs> it's about two to one women. How exactly are the men in charge and oppressing the women when there's more women in university? Women are getting more master's degrees. They're getting more PhDs. Yet somehow, somehow, the men are oppressing them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's bullshit. That, that, that's bullshit. The 300 level class will employ interdisciplinary perspectives. This course examines how both dominant and subordinate Masculinities are repetitive. This word solid nonsense. Rhetorical bullshit. What is this? Dominant and subordinate masculinities are represented and experienced in cultures undergoing periods of rapid change connected to modernity as well as to rights based movements of women, people of color, homosexuals, and trans individuals. Uh huh. Eh. Mm. Uh, again, are you telling me that there's no such thing as the angry wayman or the angry black man or the angry Latino man? Or the angry aboriginal man. I mean, come on! The human humanities program will also offer sex in history. <laughs> Republican Kansas Representative Ron Estes tweeted Wednesday about the course, criticizing the university's decision to offer a class that may do more to divide. The yeah, well, how is this going to unite students? It's all about criticizing men. <laughs> the, the title itself is pejorative. Studying white male anger, you know, implying that anger is linked to whiteness yeah university of kansas students have mixed reactions to the upcoming course we have a lot of different classes that kind that are kind of related to this i bet you do that you wouldn't think would be on college campuses <laughs> i would think they are considering that uh, you know college campuses are now nothing more than indoctrination centers to make good leftist activists who go out on the street and be foot soldiers of the global elites and push their agenda. Some students are asking if it's a joke or not. Unfortunately not. In the clown world we live in now, this is quite real, said KU student Emily Heigert. KCTV reported. I think it could be interesting. You do? Well, it's a woman, of course. But I don't really know why we have it exactly. You don't? <laughs> I just told you why, honey. The university did not respond to the Daily Caller News Foundation's request for comment. Crazy. Crazy. This world of white hate. I, the whole goal is to eventually get rid of us, to get rid of white people. I don't think they realize they're killing the goose that laid the majority of golden eggs in the fucking world. But, hey, they'll find out soon enough. <laughs> uh, so let me know what you think in the comment section of this video. And please like this video. Well, it'll be posted as a video later. Please like and subscribe. And if you would, please consider donating to my channel. 
at therealistphilosopher.com forward slash donate. That's therealistphilosopher.com forward slash donate. Also, if you'd like to be on the show uh, to discuss a topic that's a little more serious, a little more in depth that I can devote a chunk of the show to, uh, getting down to the nitty gritty of it, please feel free to email me at admin, A-D-M-I-N, at therealistphilosopher.com. That's admin at therealistphilosopher.com. And also be sure to follow me on social media. You'll see all my social media links at the bottom of the page. I'm on Facebook, Twitter, Gab, and Instagram. Uh, Whenever I post new content, I post notices there. And also I'm pretty prolific when it comes to posting on social media on Twitter and Facebook. So if you follow me on those places, you can keep up with a lot of my opinions on the leftist nonsense going on in the world as I tend to reply to a fair amount of it on those two platforms. And also consider following me on Gab. Gab's a pretty good platform, actually. They don't censor in any way. You're allowed to speak your mind, and you don't have to worry about being kicked off. Of course, that's why Facebook and Twitter hate them. (sighs) And I guess that's it. I will see you again on Monday, same time, same channel. I am The Realist Philosopher, and I wish you a good day.